And you're welcome back. So we have been joined by Ochiko Prudence, Daniel, an entrepreneur and a Montessori director on to um, parenting. So today we're going to be talking about the impact of Montessori education on Nigerian culture. Let me say a big hello to you, Ochiko. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good and morning. Happy first day of September, Nigeria. Yeah, good. Nice to have you on the show here today. I'm glad to be here. All right. So the word Montessori is not something most parents are absolutely aware of. Well, they might know the meaning, but let's go deeper into exactly what it means before we go into the subject for today. Okay, so Montessori is the name of Maria Montessori, mm. the founder of uh, the Montessori educational method. And this educational method has been here with us for over a hundred years. Recently, actually yesterday, Montessori would have been 150 years old. And this celebration was global. Everyone celebrated this woman. And her educational method is being tested all over the world. And it's something that I think Nigeria should be looking into at the moment. Okay. Well, that's very interesting. So let's talk about the impact on the Nigerian culture itself. How much impact has it had in our culture? Uh, well, because Montessori is uh, popular, yes, but the authentic practice, I would say, is still a bit lean in our national environment, so to speak. Um, I would say maybe it hasn't made as much impact as it should. Mm. But given opportunity, the Montessori education creates um, the opportunity, the environment for uh, children to experience culture from a very young age. Okay. You know, for example, let's speak about language. Mm. In the classroom, little children are, are equipped with uh, what we call language enrichment, where they okay. get to do poetry, storytelling, you know, our olden days storytelling. Mm -hmm. That can be brought into the classroom. You know, so everywhere Montessori uh, pedagogy is practiced in an authentic manner, yes, children can actually be inculcated into appreciating their own culture, respecting cultures of other ethnic groups, like, mm -hmm. for example, in Nigeria, where we have so many ethnic groups, mm -hmm. um, the study of culture in the school environment helps mm -hmm. children to be able to accept other people, other children from different ethnic groups, yeah. and to respect these different cultures as well. Mm. Okay, so how much of Montessori education goes on in Nigeria? Let's uh, use Lagos as a uh, case study, for instance. Is it something that's rampant in Lagos or Nigeria generally? How much of it? Well, not much, but let's say the name is very popular. Everywhere you go, you see this Montessori school, Montessori school. Like I mm -hmm. said, the authentic practice is still very minimal. Um, I, I don't have the statistics, but okay. I can say maybe like 10, 15 percent. Yeah. In places like Lekki, brand new Montessori schools are springing up and it's doing well. But in the mainland, it's still very uh, uh, minimal. And um, we, we encourage because the adults, you know, Montessori has this tripod uh, 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 scenario where the child, the environment and um, the the, the adult, which is the Montessori director. Mm -hmm. So we say it's a dynamic of Montessori and the adult is the, is the, is the center of it all. It's, so if the adult is not there, the system mm -hmm. does not work. If the child is not there, the system is not, it does not work. If the environment is not there, the system does not work as well. Okay. So these are the three tripods of the Montessori um, practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Nigeria, I would say that people should begin to look out for Montessori schools because in the environment of Montessori, um, we have the culture as a major aspect of the five aspects of Montessori uh, pedagogy. The educational system focuses on the total education of the child, not just academic. It spans through um, embodiment of culture. Like um, mm. as adults, we need to begin to look at culture, the universal truth of development through the lens of enculturation. Okay. That is how we do things. Mm. Um, how we, how we live our lives, how we do things and meet our natural uh, human tendencies, you know, our adapting to our environment, how we, we, we respond to the okay. things that come to us naturally. Mm. Language, for example, in Montessori classroom, 
we have um, bilingual or trilingual yeah. where our local languages can be promoted mm. this is not regular in the traditional school but every montessori classroom has you know the ability to practice bilingual or trilingual where the child will be exposed to um, their local dialect mm -hmm. another local dialect and maybe one foreign language mm -hmm. and that okay. makes the child a more balanced child at the end of the day mm. we, we also look at art Arts, for, an, for instance, is very huge in Nigeria today. And for, let's look at creative arts. When you expose these children to arts at a very young age, it becomes a part of them. And okay. Montessori actually opens the door for a child to be expressive in every aspect of art. Mm -hmm. And that's part of our culture, really. See our beautiful, the way we dress, you know, the way we okay, interact so with one another. Yeah. All right. So there's, there's plenty I hear that you say. Uh, first off, there's that very big involvement when it comes to culture. Um, and also you talked about the presence of the adults in the processes of uh, uh, Montessori education. Um, one small question, however, that I have, and if you can be very quick about this one, in relations to mm -hmm. other cultures outside of Nigeria, for instance, uh, how much of that mm -hmm. is also inculcated in this curricula? Oh yes, this is very uh, huge because in our world today, uh, cultural diversity has become very um, important in our relationships and in our communication. And so um, we ourselves, we are, we, we are different people and so we embrace other culture through the learning. You know, for example, Montessori says that there is no limit mm. or bound when it comes to the education of culture. Okay. You know, so it's very broad, and so okay. it opens up to the, you know this inclusion and cultural diversity. Okay. Yeah, Montessori offers it all, and I think that Nigeria should begin to look into. Okay. I actually okay. want a promo okay. I'm a promoter okay. of Montessori chapters. I want. Tell uh, you <laughs> what, Ochiko. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, there's not enough time for us to discuss this, so we're hoping that you're going to be back again, so we can have a full discussion on the Montessori system. Um, but thank you very much for being on the show today. Like I said, looking forward to having you back on here.